Good morning and welcome back everyone. If this is your first time to visit our page, don't forget to follow us and like our, our page on Facebook. That's Gurung Pinoy. You can also like this video if you are watching it on YouTube, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel Gurung Pinoy. You can also find us on Instagram. That's Gurung Pinoy PH. Now today's topic is solving averages and we are going to be teaching you math trick on how you can easily solve this topic. This topic is one of the most important topics that is called by civil service examination, licensure exam for teachers, even other examinations, and even in entrance exam for colleges, and even for high school. All right, so we start with the first sample problem that we have there. First sample problem that we have, a student scores 85, 90, 80, 90, and 100 on five quizzes. What is the average score on these five quizzes. Now, this is the usual average problems that we have in math. For us to solve this, we use the formula for average or the mean, which is the sum of the terms divided by the number of terms. When we're talking about terms here, we're simply talking of the numbers. So sum of the terms, that would be the sum of the numbers that we have. In this case, nga, the, the sum of the scores divided by the number of the scores that we have. So we get the sum of the scores there, which is 85 plus 90 plus 80 plus 90 plus 100. We get the sum and that would be 445. Now, after taking the sum, your average uh, formula there tells us to also divide it by the number of terms. So, we divide 445 by 5. Bakit po 5? Dahil meron tayong 5 scores. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we divide the sum of 445 by the number of terms, which is 5. By looking at the numbers that we have here, we know that we cannot divide 4 by 5. So we go and include the second digit that we have, that's 44, divided by 5, and we know that to be 8. So 44 divided by 5 is 8, and we still have a remainder of 4. Since 44 divided by 5 would just be 8, and 8 times 5 is 40. So we have a remainder of 4, so we know that the next number that we should divide by 5 is 45. So that's 45 divided by 5, and that gives us 9. So the correct answer that we have here would be 89. That's the answer for our first sample problem. So again, we simply add up all the terms that we have, all the numbers that we have, we get the sum, and we divide them by the number of terms. So that's 445 in this case divided by 5 since we are given 5 scores. So the correct answer would be 89. Now we proceed to our second sample problem. A math student scored 75, 70, 85, 90, and 100 on the first five tests he took. After he took his sixth math test, the average is now 85. What did he score on the sixth test? Now, this type of problem is very common in civil service. And this type of problem is very tricky since we are not given all the scores and we are not simply asked to get the average, but we are given five scores and we are given the average of 85 and we are asked for the sixth score in this test. Okay, so what do we do? What is the trick that we can use here? What we can do here is we subtract each score from the given average. So yan po yung first step, subtract each score from the given averages. So we have 85 minus 75, which is equal to 10. 85 minus 70 equals 15. Then the next score that we have is 85. So 85 minus 85 is 0. Next score is 90. So that's 85 minus 90 giving us negative 5. Then we have 85 minus 100, which gives us a difference of negative 15. Okay, so again, kinuha po natin yung difference ng kada score from the given average. Given po ito sa ating problem. Now, what do we do with all the differences that we have here? Gagawin po natin sa ating differences dito ay kukunin natin ang kanilang sum. Okay, kukunin po natin ang kanilang sum, which means we add them up. Okay, by looking at this, we know that we can easily just cancel 0 since wala naman siyang value. Now, we have 15, positive 15, and you have negative 15. So, easily, you can just cancel these two scores. Now, what's left is just 10 and negative 5. So, 10 plus negative 5, or simply, that would be 10 minus 5. So, we are given the total sum of 5. So, 5 na lang po yung ating sum. 
Okay, so that's the first step that we have. Now, the next step that we have here is we add the sum of 5 to the given average. Again, our given average is 85, so that will be 85 plus 5, which gives us the number of 90. So, 90 po would be the answer to this tricky average question that we have here. Okay, so your answer for this question should be 90. Now, if you'd want to check, we can still use the average formula that we had a while ago, so that's the sum of the terms divided by the number of terms. So again, yung ating mga terms dito, mga number natin, yung mga scores, are 75, 70, 85, 90, and 100, which are actually given in our problem, plus 90. Ito nga po yung nakuha nating answer from our math trick a while ago. So we add this all up, that would give us a sum of 510. Now, after that, we divide 510 by the number of terms that we have. How many terms do we have here? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, that's 510 divided by 6. 510 divided by 6, 51 divided by 6 would be 8. And 8 times 6 would be 48. So, meron pa po tayong sobrang 3. So, that means the next number that we should divide by 6 would be 30 divided by 6. And that gives us 5. So, that's correct. The average for all these 6 scores would be 85. So, that tells us na tama ang ating answer a while ago, which was 90. Okay? So, that's it for today, mga kaguro. Again, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gurung Pinoy. Follow us on our Facebook page, Gurung Pinoy. Also on Instagram, that's Gurung Pinoy PH. If you have any comments, if you have any suggestions for the topics that you need us to cover next or for the topics that na nahihirapan kayo, please write those in our comment box. Don't hesitate to send us a message on our Facebook page, on Instagram, or even just comment on our YouTube channel, Gurung Pinoy. Thank you so much. Stay happy and stay COVID-free. Thank you.